Hey everyone, I'm going to show you how to make a pontoon boat that is scaled for minifigures for today's Lego Brick tutorial. Let's begin with our trailer. Start with a 2x14 plate. I'm going to take a modified 1x2 plate with ball. I'm going to set this on the right hand side. Then a 3x6 double 45 degree angler plate. Set that right next to our ball hitch assembly. Then take a 2x2 two by 2 by two thirds plate with bow. I'm going to set this right here, followed by four 1x2 radiator grills. Now I want to skip two studs and place another radiator grill. I want to slide in a set of 2x4 plates right underneath these areas right here and we're going to fill in these areas with four two by two by two thirds modified plate with bearing these are going to be used to attach our wheels to our trailer back on the left a set of one by four modified plates with two studs and on the other side of this radiator grill a two by four Plate. Now, back on the right hand side, I want to set down a set of 1x1 one one plates right next to our plate with bow. Now, you may want to hold underneath here. Then, I'm going to take a pair of 2x2 two two angular flat tiles, set those right there, then a 1x2 radiator grill and a 2x2 two two plate with Technic snap. This is going to be used to attach our spare tire. Now let's slide our trailer off to the side. We're going to take a 1x12 plate. Let's skip two studs. Set down a 1x2 plate. Skip two more studs. A 1x1 one one plate followed by a 1x8 plate. Then I want to slide in a 1x2 plate in this area. Skip two studs on the right. A 1x1 flat tile and a 1x2 radiator grill. For rear lights, take a 1x1x1x1 downwards angler plate. I'm going to take a round transparent flat tile, place it on the face of our angler plate. We're going to set this right here. We're going to need to make two of these. Now let's take our trailer assembly. I'm going to take one of my side rails. I'm going to place this right in this one by one opening and right above our bearing plates. We'll do this one over here. Set that right in there and just lock all the joints together. Now back on the left, I'm going to set down a 1x6 flat tile in this area to strengthen up our rear brake light supports and a set of 2x2 two two plates and a modified 2x4 plate that has a Technic snap. We're going to place this right above this axle. This is going to be used to fix our pontoon boat to the trailer. Then I'm going to proceed on adding a pair of 2x3 two plates right here and a set of 2x2 two two plates. This is really going to lock in our axle supports and then a set of 1x1 one one flat tiles and four 1x2 radiator grills to finish up this base. Now right in the center above our bearings a pair of 2x3 two flat tiles and then I want to wrap around with four 2x2x2 two by two by two thirds plate with bow. These are going to be like our mud guards. Keep the mud off the side of the boat. <laughs> this last one right here and in these two areas on the left a set of 1x3 flat tiles. 
graphs. Now we're going to focus our attention in this area. We're going to take a pair of 1 by 2 by 2 corner plates, place these right in here to fortify these two corners. Then I'm going to take two modified 2 by 2 plates with two studs. Set these right here where the studs are facing towards one another. And then some 1 by 2 by 2 thirds slopes. These are going to be used to keep the boat from swinging about on the trailer. For stabilizer jack, I'm going to take a stick with holder and a one by one nose cone. I'm going to place the stick on the top portion of the nose cone and I'm going to set this right by the ball. For a spare tire, take a medium narrow tire. We're going to set one of these little rims with the Technic hole. And like so, we're going to set this right on our 2x2 two two plate with snap. And for tires on our trailer, four medium narrow tires. And we're going to set one of these small rims inside. We're going to make four of these. We're going to set these right on the bearing plates. Now, if you don't have this style of rim, you can use any other type of rim that are compatible with these wheels. And that completes the trailer. For the frame of our pontoon, start with a 2x2 two two round plate. I'm going to place another 2x2 two two round plate right on top of one another. And a 2x2 two two round brick. And then I'm going to take one of these half round brick wall element things. I'm not sure their official name. We're going to set that right there and a one by one round brick right next to that. Now we're going to take a one by six Technic brick. I want to populate each of the holes with a set of Technic pin with stud. These are going to be used to anchor down our plate and deck assembly to our pontoon. Then we're going to place this right in this area next to our round brick and our half round 2x2 two two brick. Let's slide this off to the side and we're going to place a set of 2x2 two two round plates right on top of one another then a 2x2 two two round brick. Then I'm going to place a half round 2x2 two two wall element brick right here and a 1x1 one one round brick on this side. Then we're going to take our previous assembly, we're going to set this right in this notch. Now we're going to take four 2x2 two two round bricks, place these on top of one another, and another one of these half round 1x2 <laughs> bricks. We're going to make two of these, we're going to place one right here, and another one right on this side. This is going to lock in this joint right here where our Technic brick is at. For our second cross support, we're going to take a 1x6 Technic brick. I'm going to place two friction pins in the second fourth hole. Then I'm going to place another 1x6 Technic brick right on top. So you may have to fight to get on. <laughs> Set that right on there. And then and the three remaining holes, three Technic pins with stud. We're just going to snap those right in there. We're going to slide this right in this area. Now note that we're on the same orientation as our previous assembly with the Technic pins with studs. Take four more 2x2 two two round bricks, place these on top of one another, and you guessed it, another half round. <laughs> one by two, or two by two, whatever you want to call it, brick wall element thing. Then we're going to place a one by one round brick right here. I'm going to slide this right here to where this notch is facing upwards. And on this side, four more two by two round bricks right on top of one another. And yes, another one of these goofy half round two by two wall element bricks and a one by one round 
brick. I'm going to place this right here. And for our last support, a 1x6 Technic brick and five Technic pins with studs. Now why all the studs? Because these are going to fit inside the tubes of our deck plates. You really want that to be secured. Then on this portion right here, a 1x4x1 wall element. We're going to set that right here. And to finish up the front, a 2x2 two two brick and a 2x2x2 two by two by two nose cone. I'm going to make two of these. I'm going to place one right here and another one on this side. And on the back, we're going to finish these two areas off with a set of 2x2 two two shoe glider plates. This will finish up our pontoon frame. Now let's assemble the deck, starting with an 8x8 plate. I want to place these rolls of Technic pins with studs into these tubes right here. So I'm just going to set that down. It really only goes in one position. You're just going to need to press that down. And yes, it's crunchy, crunchy time. <laughs> then we're going to attach this side to this area of a 6x8 plate. Now take a 2x3 plate. I'm going to place another 2x3 plate where they're offset by a set of studs. Then I'm going to place this right here. And that's what this 1x4x1 wall element was for, is to kind of reinforce the seam. Then we're going to proceed on with a 3x3 quarter round plate. I'm going to place another 3x3 quarter round plate where they're offset by one stud. I'm going to place this right here. And we don't want to forget about this side, so take another 3 by 3 quarter round plate. We're going to offset another 3 by 3 quarter round plate by one stud. And we're going to set this right here to fill in this gap. Then we're going to proceed on the left-hand side with a 2 by 3 plate and a 1 by 3 plate right here. And then I want to add a 1 by 4 plate along this side and a 2x2 two two plate here. Now this area is going to be our driver's area, so we're going to place a set of 1x2 flat tiles right there. Then proceed on with a 2x3 plate and a 1x4 plate right next to that. Right down the middle, five 2x2 two two jumper plates. Now I'm using the jumper plates to anchor down our minifigures to the deck of the pontoon bow. We don't want somebody to slip and slide and fall off and go overboard. And then right in this area right here, a 1x2 flat tile. Then we're practically going to mirror this pattern onto this side. So I'm just going to go ahead and start with a 1x3 plate and a 2x3 plate. And then we're going to move on to a 2x2 two two plate and a pair of 1x2 flat tiles. Then a set of 1x4 plates and a 2x3 plate right there. Take a 2x3 angular plate where the larger side is on the left. I'm going to place a 1x1 one one flat tile on the right hand side and a 2x4 plate on the left hand side. I'm going to take this assembly and I'm going to place this right here. Let's mirror that onto the right hand side with another 2x3 angular plate where the larger end is on the right hand side. We're going to place a 1x1 flat tile on the left and a 2x4 plate on the right. We're just going to set that down right here. And in this area, a set of 1x2x2 corner plates and a modified 1x2 plate with stick. Place that right there. That's where we're going to be attaching our motor we'll be building in a moment or two. Right in this area, I want to skip a set of studs and set down a 2x4 plate followed by a 2x2 round plate. We're going to place that right there. And you'll see why we're using that there in a second. And a 2x2 two two plate, 
two by two round plate, another two by two plate, and a two by three plate in this area. We're gonna take four one by three jumper plates. I'm gonna place two on the left and two on the right. This is gonna be our drivers and passenger seating. A set of one by two flat tiles right behind those. Take a pair of one by one by two thirds plate with bow. We're gonna place these right here. This is gonna be the short back of our seats. And the reason why is I need to have the back short to clear our collapsible awning. And for our guest seating, we're gonna place a pair of one by two flat tiles right here. And then I'm gonna proceed on with two more one by two flat tiles and a pair of one by two by two flat tiles. Then we're gonna continue on with six one by two jumper plates. These are gonna be used to anchor down a mini figures to the seats. But don't worry, <laughs> the jumper planes won't fly off once we attach them. Then I'm gonna fill in these corners with a pair of one by one quarter round flat tiles. And that's what the two by two round plates are for on the bottom. Right on this stud on the right, we're gonna place a set of one by one plates, stack them on top of one another, place this right here. And in these two areas, a set of one by one plates. Then right here to secure a clip for a motor, a two by two modified plate with only two studs. Then I wanna crown these off with a pair of one by two plates right on top of one another. Take a one by two Technic brick with one hole. I'm gonna place a friction pin inside. I'm gonna place this on the right hand side where the friction pin is facing out towards the right. I'm gonna make another one and place this one on the left. Then we're gonna grab a pair of number six 90 degree cross axle extenders. We're gonna place these on as shown to where the Axle extenders can fit right between the one by one plate and the one by one flat tile. Now let's start constructing the sides of our pontoon boat, starting with a pair of one by four bricks. We're gonna place these right next to our one by one plates and our awning assembly. Then proceed on with two more one by four bricks and one by six bricks right here. Yeah, everything does seem a bit unstable, but the bricks are gonna start locking everything together. And we're gonna proceed on with a pair of two by two quarter round bricks and a one by four brick right there. We're gonna focus our attention here with a pair of one by one by one and one thirds brick with bow. We're going to place these right here to finish off the rear portion. Then we're going to set down four one by six plates. Two on this side and two on this side right next to our bricks with bow. And right here a pair of three by three quarter round Plates with bow or arch. I don't know what the official name of those are, so we're just going to place these here. These are going to help lock in these joints. And a one by two plate right here. And in this little area, a one by one by one and one thirds brick with bow and a one by one flat tile. We're just going to set that right there to finish off this corner. We're going to lock this whole assembly together with a one by four plate. Take a number one one by two rounded plate. I'm gonna place one of these little balls with a stick in one of the holes. I'm gonna take the other end and place it right here. And I wanna make two of these, and just note the height of this. This is very critical, so we're gonna leave those right there. Those are gonna be the handles to lock in our retractable awning. And then I'm gonna lock all that together with a pair one by two by two corner flat tiles. Back on the right hand side, a set of two by two quarter round flat 
tiles with arch. And I'm going to fill in the remaining areas with several 1x2 flat tiles. For our steering controls, let's take a 1x2 bearing. I'm going to set a 2x2 bearing plate right inside. And on these two studs, a set of 1x1 flat tiles that have gauge prints. And these are a bit challenging to center up. So what I do is I just barely set them on the stud. And then I just kind of rotate as needed. Like I just tack them in. And hope I don't press them down all the way. And there we go. Looks pretty good. Once you get those lined up, we're going to place a 1x2 jumper plate to attach our 2x2 steering console. Let's set our steering console right in this area. For the motor for our pontoon boat, start with a 2x3 plate. I'm going to place a 1x2 plate on the right hand side and a pair of modified 1x2 plates with top holder on the left hand side. This is going to be used to attach the motor to the back of our pontoon. Then one of these 2x2 two two little engine scoops, place that right on top to lock all those plates together. And we're going to flip this on the side and we're going to set down a 2x2 two two plate and a 2x2 two two brick, followed by a modified 2x2 two two plate with single lift arm. I want to place it on to where the lift arm is on this side. Then I'm going to take a Technic pin with cross axle, one of these little propellers, and place this with the cross axles right inside the propeller. And then I'm going to set this right in this little lift arm to complete our motor. Let's install the motor onto the modified 1x2 plate with stick. Make sure that thing is going to snap into the holders. And you want to hold inside as well until you hear a snap right there. And should fit right inside this little area. For our retractable awning, start with a 6x8 plate. I'm going to place four 2x4 flat tiles right in the center. And on the edges, eight 2 by 2 by 2 thirds plate with bows. I'm going to place four on the right and four on the left. This is going to give her awning a bit of a contour, make it a bit more softer than the harsh plastic of the bricks. And now we're going to flip this over. Take a 2x2 two two modified plate with double lift arm. I'm going to place a friction pin on one end. Then I'm going to take another 2x2 two two modified plate with double lift arm, place it on the friction pin. Then I'm going to place two friction pins, one on both sides. And we're going to set this right in the center on one end. Next, take a number six 90 degree angle cross axle extender. I'm going to place to where they are shown, to where one of the flat sides is up against the tubes on this six by eight plate. And I want to I'm going to give my awning a bit of an overhang, so I'm going to attach a pair of 1x8 plates. And yes, these will come apart, and <laughs> that's why I'm putting those plates in there. And no, I'm not going to censor that out. <laughs> that wouldn't be fair for you, the viewer. So we're going to place this one on the right-hand side, and you can see now nothing's falling off. And I'm going to take four stud long cross axles and place these in these openings. And that'll complete our retractable awning. Before installing our retractable awning, I'm going to take these two levers. I'm going to slide these to where they're going to lock in our cross axle extenders. Then I'm going to take our awning. I'm going to fold these legs out of the way like so. And I'm just going to drop these right inside the tax cross axle extender. Set those right in there. And then we can just fold that down. In order to collapse the awning for transport, I'm going to take these levers right here. 
I'm going to bring these forward and I'm going to take my steering console. We're going to place it like this. I'm just going to collapse the top down. Everything's nice and compact for travel. Attaching our pontoon boat to the trailer is pretty simple. I want to take this Technic pin and stick it right in this center hole. Just going to place that right in there. It should snap right in place. And we're on our way.